We're going to Villa. So oh, there okay. you go. Cafe Dostoevsky is blocked out, which is probably good for the Sonics because I don't think Rogue has lost it since year one. First and foremost, let's just pay a quick moment to everybody in the top right-hand corner who are being absolutely slayed by right. uh, the developers. Well, North Hall. It's an interesting rotation, and she's not giving up on this just yet. Oh, and she loses the fight. The first kill of the matchup is going to come to Slash. Who there you go. Neptunes takes out Slash, and now Vertical is going to go on in. He'll take down one, but it's immediately traded out by Ghost. And the Sonics walk away. And study is Ghost. Gas canister well placed to do some damage to both players, and he gets one in the study hall. Beautifully done. As Eclipse hits the floor, it's just easily. He'll retake into Gun Vault, but Super wins that fight with his pistol out. And Sonics, on very low HP, will take the first round. Never mess with the uh, dreaded Invisigun. It does an awful lot of damage. Utilities being taken away is Slash on Ash. Guns down Super, and he's completely removed for the time Ash. being. Rogue on their bellies, prone on in, but there's Avian who got away and he picks up two kills. And next up is Eclipse who will walk right into the line of fire. Avian still very much in play. Shuttle takes one down and it's a double for Goddess. She catches all three bodies as they fall. Along with Avian, they lock out this entire round and a defender-sided Villa, unsurprisingly, going in favor of the defense. It's gonna be a drop here from Eclipse, but you might not know there's someone so aggressive on this door. He will win the fight against Avian, so no more kills for the bird. Really know where it's coming from, trying to play around the angles, and he's last alive, wandering right into the sights of Ghost. Is it seeing Goddess? Tass with the final two kills, and it comes very quickly. Sonic's taking their third round in a row, and the defenders right now, they're having a ball. Denying bar play. Easy for Rogue. It's gonna be, it looks like, almost two there for Super, but he'll lose it out to Slash. Well, they've still got two toxic canisters and 30 seconds left. They've got some plant denial, and what a beautiful shot from Neptune's on easily. He sees the leg of another heading on over, and we'll have to repel on in, and Goddess is there, prepared and waiting. Vertical, Goddess waiting. There's nobody there. The DMR cannot hit onto Eclipse. He's traded off by Ghost, and now it's essentially a 1v3. Vertical's in sight. He's gonna need to plant, though, and the problem is that the timer is gonna hit zero before he gets off. Makes an awful lot of noise, and there goes the airmail. And it's caught and received by Vertical. Easily to take out Neptunes. There it is. That's going to force Neptunes in a bad spot. And oh, it's a team kill. Goddess doing the work for Rogue. Rogue and now with an advantage. And the first one that they've really had is Slash in trouble. Goddess is having a banger of a match so far. The Ghost will try to open something up to stop the diffuser. Six seconds down, Avian cannot hold the recoil down. He's going to get gunned out from Rogue. And it's all up to Ghost. Just patiently waiting. But there he goes, he'll take out Eclipse. He doesn't know it's not the planter. User timer left. One playing in blue, and their shot does land. Easily goes down, but there's your second air jab, and using a lot more of your time. It's much more influential now. One up close and personal. It's gonna be vertical to win the fight, and Rogue will win their very first attack round on trophy. Or just in general. That was a good execution from Rogue. Good frustration for Rogue. They've got complete control of the site. They yeah. just waltz right in. Nobody is dead just yet, but I say that a little too soon. Nope, but then Avian well. and Neptunes are also removed from play. Eclipse tries to vault on in. Goddess takes him down, taken out by easily. Ghost is there to catch Slash and comes on up. He almost drops shuttle. The user goes so down successfully. He spots the leg, but oh no! <laughs> Immobilized by the air jab at the last second. And Rogue <laughs> gifted by Vertical's placement of the air jab earlier, down goes the Valkyrie and oh, pushing wow. all the way on up. Oh, easily he's there for some cover. Take and down, down Goddess, leaving us in a 5v2 with the shotgun not being able to do Better enough. Slash is still there, he's got one position, looking for the head and it's Eclipse, who will unsheath the machine pistol and duel super and end up walking away with it. A perfect flick with wow. the shield on his back and that machine pistol. The shotgun on Ella, it's, oh, SQ is just in. They take out Slash, they'll spring forward. Ghost picks located. up two kills, looking for more. Shuttle tries to retake, but he can't do it. It's a pulverization from the Sonics right now. Ryan's call to shut down any opportunity for somebody to come back. Ghost's hot hand is cooled off, but Super's there to be able to grab the very final kill, and Rogue's three-round winning streak is snapped. The fifth round coming in for the Sonics. I didn't see about the shotgun to answer your Sonics question. Didn't drone that out thoroughly enough, and he's gonna do so much damage because of that. And even more for Shuttle. A beautiful triple kill in this round. He's going for a fourth, and he's gonna get it! A 4K from Shuttle coming from 90. I don't think he's aware that he was under fire. It's two very quick kills. Three! Neptune is in sight, and it's completely his. Looking for a fourth, but he can't be able to outmuscle Shuttle, who's having a banger of a game himself. It's all on Vertical, whose two kills will not go up at all. There will be no increase there, and at minimum, 
the Sonics will walk away with one point in this particular matchup. Oh, they're only four points back of a playoff spot for the time being, and well, things Whoa. aren't going particularly well at all as Avian and Neptunes are there. They'll look for more. Neptunes trying to find the last kill that he was involved in. The West hallway. He's doubling up on it with the Bandit, but Avian is just waiting, and he'll get a free kill for it. Nice patience from Shuttle, though, on the same angle, and that's his second there. No, the wall will go. He doesn't have any impacts left. Shuttle takes out Neptunes, looks for the Zulfia. Oh, a lot of damage being done in the hallway, but he can't connect quite a bit. Ghost, but he can't be able to get past this threshold, as Shuttle will watch quite intently, but no, it's a crossfire. It's all up to Vertical. Is he going to be able to stop the planter? Oh, no, he gets taken down and got us the last minute. She's able to pull out heroics in the dying seconds and it's revenge for Super over his former team and Avian too. That was heartbreaking to watch. Uh, very One very specific thing to point out there is the way Vertical played in